Welcome everyone to my 5 star island tour of Akaimanto in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Before we start, I wanted to show you the aerial view from the airplane as you descend. Every one of my peers has told me it's one of the best islands they've seen, so let's get started. Hello friends. I invited my friend Daniela over to help me out with this island tour. We've known each other for over 10 years. We've developed the friendship from being in the same track and field team and have been inseparable ever since. I'll give you a look at the map before we begin. Oh no. <laughs> I'm running out of battery. <laughs> this is the island layout. It's very intricate and I have put over 500 hours of work into this tiny canvas if you will. My island name is Akaimanto, a Japanese translation of my hometown of Kawarojo, which in English means Red Cape. It felt like an homage to my family and friends whom I miss very much, especially during this crazy coronavirus time, which I know sounds very cheesy. I wanted an impressive entrance so that when visitors came over, they'd be in awe, especially considering that resident services is so close to the airport. To the left of the airport, I have the campsite. I sort of made it look like a kid's playground slash excavation grounds with the wooden standees and the flimsy shovel in the back, but still wanted that outdoor camping feel like with the marshmallows. And there's also a hidden DIY station. You'll see a few of those around the island for easy access. Further left, I have my food orchard. It feels rather crowded, but still walkable. I have the cardboard boxes on the ground and piles of leaves and a scarecrow for added detail. Below the orchard, there's another beach area, which I like to compare to Bogueron Beach back home. It's always crowded and it actually has a pier where I put all the furniture from the fishing tourney because it seemed perfect. Over the pier, I put a pina colada stand, one of my favorite drinks ever. If you couldn't tell by the pineapple pattern on the stalls and the pineapple umbrella on the side. And I have a custom designed menu specials on the left, which I will share on the screen. As you head north, you'll find more populated beach areas and my seaside spa. We have a check-in area with other specials up front, another custom design I'll share on screen. Animal Crossing is originally Japanese, so most of the furniture will have Japanese influences, hence the green and brown aesthetic. Further north will reach one of the first areas I ever made. I call this space the breakfast nook. Wink. Trademark goes to my boyfriend Alex, who came up with this perfect name. I kept getting kitchen-like items, so I decided to make a quaint cafe location by the sea. Going back down next to the spa, I have a big zen garden area with a rainbow flower field because, of course, I'm very gay. Oh, hi Gojira! I bow down to you, O oh powerful deity. My dad has a little bit of a green thumb, so I guess I was subconsciously influenced by his front porch. I added so many flowers, tulips, bamboo, and a cliff top pond over here at the very top just to get all those cliff top fishes. I'm gonna go back down. There's another DIY workstation right here. We'll head down and around the garden to reach a sort of resting site where you can charge your electric scooters, have a drink and a snack if you wanted to, take a break from all that hiking and biking around the island. To the right of this resting station, I made some steps because I ran out of bridges, since you can only build eight bridges on this island. I drew some inspiration from the train sets, my favorite of which is a fall themed train set, and made this space look similar to my hometown plaza. Every municipality in Puerto Rico has a main plaza that hosts the town hall and the main Catholic church, and Cabo Rojo's town square, in my humble yet biased opinion, is one of the most ornate and peaceful. We'll head south and view what I like to call my picnic pavilion. 
this is what I used to have in what is now the seasonal plaza. Again, because I wanted to make it look similar to my hometown main plaza, which houses the single best homemade coffee and hot chocolate kiosk I have ever gone to. And you'll notice it's located right next to resident services. North of resident services, I have what I like to call my shopping district. Both stores are right next to each other, with Nook's Cranny on the right, and Able Sisters on the left. Behind my shopping district, I wanted to dedicate an area to everyone's favorite shady character. I put a lot of hard work specifically into this one area, so I'll simply let you enjoy how this looks like while he's visiting. In the very back of the island, I situated the museum, which I feel is the single most important building in the entire game. Animal Crossing revolves so much around collecting critters that I wanted to dedicate a large portion to Blathers. I decorated the outside with various science and technology themed furniture, and every color of roses which are my native flowers. I even added a little date spot in front, an extra pond for fishing, and an archaeology section. Now here on Akaimanto, I think it's safe to say we grow our own economy! I originally created this space to store turnips, but I repurposed it as a money farm so as to not to mess with my island rating, and I also made a rock garden in the back. Next on the northeastern part of the island, I added a space for stage shows and such. I utilized the last two ramps I had available to make the stage, and even made an area for the audience. There's also pre-show snacks in the back. I skipped to the southern part of the island so I can show you the beach area I created before heading to the neighborhood. I made a mermaid grotto style space with a beachside pool beside it and a barbecue area up top. My neighborhood is reminiscent of my own neighborhood growing up. Almost everyone knows each other, and all the kids who grew up here went to the same school. Every villager has furniture items outside their house that matches their home or their personality. My island tour could not be complete without showing you Kawarojo's iconic lighthouse. I put down some fencing, some flowers, and even created an alien encounter behind the lighthouse. The lighthouse I feel is the most important part of my hometown, so much so that I made the island flag a cartoon replica of the actual lighthouse. Finally, here's my house tour. I will show you a 360 degree view of each room in order of preference, which you can notice from the Happy Home Academy Awards displayed in each space. concludes my island tour of Akaimanto. I love my island so much. 
I'm so proud of it, and I hope you love it too. I am nervous throughout this entire commentary because this is my first video. Please bear with me. I also have Daniela to thank for giving me inspiration and suggestions on how to improve my island. If you want to see more from me in the future, please press that like button and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a lot. Share this video with your fellow Animal Crossing lovers and comment down below what your favorite part was. With all that said, I'll leave you guys with an original rendition of my island tune. the second try. <gasps> ah, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, my native fruit! <laughs> 